going on? Welcome back to the Jack C99 YouTube channel. Uh, it was coming. It was. It was going to happen. And it was due to happen. Hibernian sack yet again another manager. Nick Montgomery has been relieved of his duties as Hibs manager. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll quickly talk about this. And... There's not really much to talk about this, but there is quite a few things that I'd like to add in. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, Jack C99. <sighs> what is going on at our club? What is going on? I don't even know. Uh, there's a lot going wrong. And yes, Nick Montgomery's been sacked. He got sacked yesterday. Um... How do I feel about it? To be honest, when he first got appointed, I was really feeling positive about this guy. And he started off well. Poor thing was, is he didn't change anything. And he was told what needed to be changed at the club. And it's just weird. Because we went through, what, 24 managers plus caretakers, managers. Year 1996 up till now, we've went through 24 manager departures plus caretakers. But David Gray takes interim charge again. I think he's probably getting fed up with it because obviously he's seen it happen that many times with Paul Heckenbottom. Um... I don't know who else can you think of. Paul Heckenbottom, uh, Jack Ross, Lee Johnston, Sean Maloney, and now Nick Montgomery. Two managers sacked in the exact same season. Lee Johnston, as you all know, was sacked in August after we lost 3-2 to Livingston, our third league defeat in the Scottish Premiership at Easter Road, which was actually, sh actually shambolic. But Lee Johnston got sacked. It took a while to get Nick Montgomery in. Bearing in mind, none of the managers were cheap to get in. Though they actually cost us a fortune. Not really a lot of positive stuff to say about Nick Montgomery, but for me, I had faith in a manager. I always have faith in a manager. But I think by the time it reached where we got beat 4-0 of Aberdeen at Easter Road, was Nick Montgomery doing much? Not really. Or a negative stuff, there is a lot of positive stuff about Nick Montgomery, but I will start with the positive stuff. He was good to start off with, he did start well. I went on his first home game of the se season at Easter Road, uh, which was introducing the manager, and then basically a draw at Kilmarnock when he could have actually got a win there, which was his first game as his manager. Then uh, a win at Easter Road, then we got a win in the Via Play Cup against St Mirren, winning 4 2. Where do we continue? Then there was a Hamden heartbreak, which I say we could have done better with the subs on that game. I think Nick Montgomery could have got the subs a bit better in that game at Hamden. Bringing on young players when you're 1 0 down is probably not a good idea. Brought on somebody with a bit more experience to actually play that game but I think he learned for that we could have had if we had the luck we could have had our hands on the Scottish League Cup if we had done better and VAR didn't go against us. I know that VAR did play a part in Nick Montgomery's second also Nick Montgomery didn't change anything so it's been a bit of ups and downs in Easter Road. The thing about Nick Montgomery right People were happy that we had appointed a new manager, but what I don't get, there's always people saying manager needs to go, manager needs to go, when they get two league defeats in a row, and then they want the manager gone. Um, I think it was well earlier than that, actually. Nick Montgomery out. But I had faith in him all this way, but then I think when I started to lose faith in him, and just completely say, what a lot of fans down on Sunday. He has. 
he did let a lot of fans down um, and he did let a lot of fans down and there was protests and there was a lot that happened on Sunday. In the atmosphere in Easter Road, it was sad, you know, it's sad to see your beloved football team being poor. How shouldn't they be poor? They shouldn't be playing poor. A new manager comes in, you want to change, you want to make Hibs play football that's going to be entertaining to watch, entertaining to for the fans to sit and watch and no be leaving when you're getting bet 3-0 off St Mirren at home or getting bet 4-0 off Aberdeen, which was Aberdeen's first win at Easter Road in four years. So it was like, what is going on? There is going to be a lot of players going out the door as well, guys. How many? I don't know, but in my opinion, the only six that I would keep or the players that I would keep in my opinion are the ones that I think will do good for the club but look Nick Montgomery's gone manager 24th so yeah the 24th manager departure at Easter Road how many more? Hibs need to get the next manager appointment right now I'm not being funny. They get this wrong. We're just going to keep going backwards and backwards and backwards. Does Hibs fans want us to go backwards? No. We want to be going forward. We want to be winning games. We want to be showing who we are as a club. But we're not doing that. It all started back when we sacked Jack Ross. And I will say the same thing that I say every time. Sacking Jack Ross, I think, was a bit unfair. That he never got to lead the team out. To that final after getting Hibs to the final of the Scottish League Cup at Hamden after beating Rangers but then he got sacked he never got the privilege to lead his team out I think if we still had Jack Ross we might have won it Jack Ross he actually in my opinion lasted long enough as a manager but he got us to third we done he tried his best to give us what we could and Europe or Conference League but it wasn't good enough that's when the damage started sacking Jack Ross then we got a not so good experienced manager which was Sean Maloney then another inexperienced manager who knew nothing about Scottish football Lee Johnston and then Nick Montgomery who as far as I'm led to believe inexperienced knew nothing about Scottish football either knew nothing about the infrastructure of Scottish football and it's just been three failures after Jack Ross. <sighs> Just what is going on? And to make it all I can say to Hibs fans, right? I feel the exact same way with the mess the club's in. It isn't a mess. Can he judge a manager when he's just started and want him out the door after three games, four games? Give him a chance. But yeah guys, let me know your thoughts on who should be the next Hibs manager. In my opinion, I would definitely go with Steve Robinson. He's passionate about his job. He's passionate about the work that he does. And it's whether he would uh, move for a good job that he's done at St Mirren to come to a club that's doing not so well at all. Has been me, Jatsy99. And, yep, it is Hibs v Motherwell tonight. So... We'll see what happens there. Apart from that, guys, that has been me, Jatsy99. Make sure you like, subscribe, enable notifications, and I will catch you guys in the next video. But until next time, bye-bye.